people probably haven't realised this, but over 200,000 oil paintings are owned by the public. They're part of the nation's collection. We have in this country probably one of the biggest collections of art in the world. Over the past uh, five or six years, we've been cataloguing paintings in national ownership, so anything from museums, schools, libraries, hospitals, fire stations, councils, um, right down to village halls. Yes, at the east end of our offices, uh, we have the large Hogarth triptych. It is beautifully painted. It's staggeringly well done. It's on a massive scale. It's like nothing else he did before. And that is what is important. When the air raids began in 1940, there were not enough fire engines available. And of course, one of the biggest fleets available, particularly in London, was that of taxis. It's almost live reporting. It's painted right at the start of the Blitz. And someone from the fire service had the, the idea to grab the canvas that they could from the roof of the towing taxi. It's very unusual to find something painted by a member of the fire service um, of colleagues in action. A lot of these paintings, uh, they might not be, uh, shall we say, highly professional, but a lot of these paintings meant a lot to people at the time. There's a, a story behind that, and it's that story that should be, should be remembered. Well, during the Second World War, there was a secret air base at Harrington. An American airman painted the mural. At the end of the war, they presented it to the villagers of Clipston, and the wall in school is the only wall in the village that's large enough to, to house the painting. It was given to the village of Clipston as a gift of friendship, so the people of the village would not forget us. When the museum closed down in the mid-70s, Everything was taken down and moved down into the nuclear bunker and that's where they've been all this time. This is a really exciting opportunity now for us because having catalogued all the paintings it gives us the opportunity to share these paintings with everybody. There's a very strange octagonal painting above a doorway and we, we discovered that actually there's another half to the painting. But the fun bit is when um, we try and stick him together. There it goes. We've got our man. I mean, the wonderful thing about them all going online is that there will be everything from portraits, to landscapes, pictures telling stories, uh, and it'll be the most fantastic resource for people coming to it from all angles.